How to write SEO-friendly blog articles for beginners. The term SEO-friendly blog articles often get misinterpreted as creating articles and stuffing them with the keywords we wish to rank for. But the basic concept behind writing SEO-friendly blog articles is to compose quality articles that address the search audience's needs and optimize them so that search engines will understand them and serve them to their users whenever they search for them. In this way, the blog article is more likely to rank higher on the search results, resulting in enormous organic traffic, quality page views, leads, and sales opportunities. To many, however, creating SEO-friendly blog articles can be very challenging. As a matter of fact, it does since it requires effort, inspiration, time, and the proper informational materials. To make your job easier, we have compiled in this guide 7 tips to help you write SEO-friendly blog articles that search engines will always want to serve to their users. Carry out keyword research. To create SEO-friendly articles, you should actually investigate the problems or key phrases search users are actually using to input their problems or needs into search engines. Using this method, you can identify some of the problems and create sensible answers in the form of blog posts. Furthermore, this keyword research method will help you to determine the monthly searches for a particular keyword as well as its SEO difficulty. Here is the keyword overview for copywriting tool using Ubersuggest. Our keyword overview shows 210 monthly searches for the keyword and an SEO difficulty of 42, which is decent to rank for. Using Ubersuggest, we can also find other keyword ideas for the keyword that we can use to compose blog articles about. Do some research on the topic. Despite having an idea of the keyword you intend to write a blog post about, you still need to conduct some research to make sure your facts are accurate. Furthermore, researching the topic will expose you to the latest information and expand your knowledge base, enabling you to compose blog articles without running out of ideas. In order to conduct a simple research on the topic, you can follow these steps. You can create blog articles using the main points from an ebook that covers the same subject. As well, you can visit your competitors' blogs on the same topic and, or visit Quora to find answers related to the keyword you wish to write about. By doing so, you will be able to come up with brilliant ideas and inspiration that will help you create blog articles your readers will love. Write a catchy title for your blog article. The next step is to come up with a title for your blog article after you've done some research on the subject. Blog titles are the names we give blog articles. In addition, the title of your blog article is usually the first thing that attracts searchers to click on your site because it is bolder and larger than the meta description on search engines. This is a screenshot of what the title of a blog article looks like on the Google search engine results page. As the title is the first thing searchers see, we must create a title that will persuade them to visit your website and consume the entire content. In order to create blog titles that catch audiences' attention and are indexed by search engines, here are a few tips you can use. Tip 1. Your title should include your keyword. As an example, if your keyword is copywriting tool, your title might be, 5 important copywriting tools you must have. Using the example, you can see that the title contains our keyword, which will help search engines understand what we're trying to say and rank the article higher. Tip 2. Don't make the title too long. Titles with long forms are actually the best since they reveal the intent of the search audience. Even though Google does not have a limit on title length, you should keep your long-form titles moderate. A minimum of 50 to 70 characters is pretty decent. A title that is longer than what is displayed on the search engine results page is more likely to be cut off. Therefore, the search audience may be less likely to understand the full meaning of the title. Tip 3. Make use of headline analyzers. Analyzing headlines is a good way to discern words that may be obstructing your title's meaning and to provide you with valuable guidelines for writing headlines that audiences will find compelling. Here are some headline analyzer tools you can use. Share through headline analyzer. Headline analyzer by Capitalize My Title. SE Oppressor Blog Title Generator. Structure your blog article. Once you have selected a name for your blog article, you need to structure it systematically. Your article will look more presentable if it is structured correctly, so readers can easily comprehend all of the information in it. 
Below are some suggestions for structuring your article. A brief introduction. The main message can be divided into various subtopics. Concluding remarks. A brief introduction. A short introduction is one way to write in SEO-friendly article. The purpose of this short introduction is to give the readers a hint of what the topic is saying and prepare them for the full message to follow. Usually, after you write the title, you write an introduction. The following is an example of an introduction. The main message. In your blog article, the main message is the answer or solution you provide. After the brief introduction, comes the main message. You can divide the main message into subtopics, for instance, if you are writing about copywriting tools. See how we did it for the main message. What is copywriting tool? Benefits of copywriting tool. Types of copywriting tools. By doing so, readers will be able to easily understand the whole text. Concluding remarks. A concluding statement is a way to bring the whole subject to a close while reminding the readers of the key point of the entire discussion. As you can see from the image, the conclusions come just after the main points are presented. Proofread blog article. Proofreading your blog posts before publishing them is another way to ensure they are SEO friendly. Thus, you will be able to identify grammatical errors and plagiarism in the blog articles you thought weren't there. Here are some tools you can use to proofread your blog posts. Grammarly, Ginger, Wordtune, Add Meta Description. The meta description is one of the on-page SEO optimization practices that help describe the topic of our blog post. The meta description can be found beneath the blog article title on the search engine, as shown in the image. Our meta descriptions can improve our click-through rate and differentiate us from our competition. Therefore, ensure that you follow these tips when writing your meta description. Your meta description characters shouldn't be over 120 characters. Add relevant keywords to your meta description. This what your meta description will look like with the relevant keyword you added. For example, let's say your keyword is a contact form. It is possible to do something like this as shown in the image. My final thoughts on writing SEO-friendly blog articles for beginners. Stuffing an article with keywords that you want to rank for differs from writing SEO-friendly blog posts. Stuffing keywords may be considered spamdexing or web spamming, which are black hat SEO tactics that are not in accordance with search engine guidelines. While writing SEO-friendly blog posts, is a healthy practice for putting useful resources that both search engines and search users can benefit from. And throughout this guide, we've discussed 7 tips that will help you create quality articles that are SEO friendly. Thanks for taking the time to go through this guide step by step. We hope you find it useful. We appreciate you taking the time to read this detailed guide word for word, and we hope you will share it across your social networks so that other interested users can benefit from it as well. If you like these video please hit the like button and click on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to always get our latest updates. Thanks for watching, see you in next video.